Hi everyone. So last class, what did we discuss? Map, right? Discussed about map. Mm -hmm. Okay. So last class we have seen with the map of inside it, it is a primitive data type. Right, we uh, we use the primitive data type string, comma string. We have seen one example for this. Now let's go ahead uh, with the combination of string and s object, primitive data type and s object. We will see some examples today. Combination of primitive data type and s object. So let's go to the Salesforce Developer Console. Debug. So let's assume that. How do we initialize the map? Map of string commas. Oh. Yeah, map of key is a string here. Let's take a value as list of account. This is the account map. New map of string comma list of account. List of account. Right? So if it is a single account, how do we do it? Instead of list, if it is, if I have a single account. Uh, map account of, A equal to new account. Map of account. Map of string, string comma, comma string account. Comma account. ACC account map. map equal to new, new map, map of string of comma account string comma account right so in case if we have a single account right now here it is expecting a single account that means i have to store account id and then let's take let's assume that i'm going to store here key as a account id and here single account, right? So what I'll do is first I'll take a account ACC. I'm going to query a specific record. Select ID comma, name comma, phone number comma, industry from account. Where let's take a ID, specific ID. So this is the ID. This is a SOCAL query. Whatever I'm writing it, it is a SOCAL query. How do we write a SOCAL query? Select fields from object. Yeah. So if I have to divide this, Okay. So this is common for any soccer query. This is common means if it is needed, you can add the you can add the where condition. If it is not needed, that it should be fine. So select from is mandatory. Basically, how do we write it? From which object are we going to query? The first thing we have to remember, first thing we have to identify is from which object from which object 
am i going to query okay so that object name here in this scenario what is the object name we have a account and the next thing is that what are the fields that i'm going i i need it in the query what are the fields what are the fields that i need to get it from database so here it is a let's assume that i just need a id comma name comma phone number there are there might be a th uh, thousands of fields but we are only interested in these particular fields that i am interested in now the third one is we have to remember the third one is do i have a, any condition like if there are 10000 records inside the system do i need to filter out do i need to filter while retrieving the data from while retrieving the data from database do i need to filter it out if so what is the condition if so what is the condition condition is id equal to some 18 digit so this you have to remember rest all are common when i say rest all are common is nothing but select will be always a select what are i am writing this is a circle so whatever i am writing this is a circle circle is different we will come to that later okay this is circle so select is common for everybody and then we have to write a fields after the select fields is id comma name comma phone number comma industry then common word is from from i need it because i have done with the retrieving the fields from okay from which table from account table from account table now what is the next one do i have a filter yes we have a filter what is the filter where condition where when we have a filter we have to use the where condition where id equal to and id equal to i can write 18 digit id Eighteen digit ID. So this is how we write a circle query. Circle query is Salesforce object query language. So how do we write it? Select is common. Whatever I have written in the red color, it is a common for or any circle query. Like from any table, if I am pulling it, this is a common. Okay, where condition is mostly we apply in the real time. but in case if you do not think where condition is need, not needed so this is the one which we have to have so select and from is a mandatory for any table for pulling the data from you have to write a table name here and then what are the fields you have to write before the from which is after the select then where condition so that's what i have written here select these all are my fields from where from account where id equal to this now i'll get some information from the database so let's go ahead and print that system dot debug acc system dot debug acc now let's go ahead and execute highlighted one
debug. Okay, we have a ID, name, phone number. This is what we were querying it, right? Yeah, one tick done. Perfect. So now what I'll do is, as I have a ACC data is there. So what I'll do, how do I put the data into the map? What? What? What I'll do, ACC dot ID comma ACC. And let me go ahead and print the ACC map. So let's add some text here. Map output. Now let's go ahead and execute it. Execute the highlighted one. Debug. So I have a ID here. I have the ID here. ID is my 18 digit ID equal to whatever the account we have, we have the account details. So that's how I'm getting it. But right now we got the single account. We got the single account. But let's see how to do it for the list of account, right? How to do the list of account. So list of account is what we need. Instead of a single query, we have to write a multi query. So we need to get the multiple information. So I do not need a where condition here, but instead of where condition, what I'm going to do is limit of 10 records. Limit of 10 records or else what I'll do, we have a industry, right? We have a industry equal to banking. There are 14 records are there, so that should be fine. Banking. So the output is in the list format. So it's not a single account. It is a list of accounts. We are going to get it. So when we get the list of account, we have to store it into the list of account. Okay. Now, how do we add? How do we do that? Now we have a list of account here, right? So what I'll do is we have a conditional statement. I'm going to talk next to the conditional statement and the loop, okay? First thing is that so I have to use the loop here. I have So to... you go through for loop and add it one by one? Yes. We have to add a loop and then we have to use the if condition. Why if condition? Because I wanted to check whether the account ID is already exist or not. Instead of going with the put directly, this is a straightforward, right? ACC map dot put is a straightforward. ACC map dot put is a straightforward, but we do not do straightforward in real time. In real time, what we do is first we will verify the key. Do I have a key already inside my map? If it is already key is there, then just add this account to that key. If it is a key, key is not there, then we then add the key first, then later on add the account. So that means first thing is that if condition, okay? The if condition, how it will be? If condition is I have an account map, right? This account map dot contains contains key, right? So I'm going to check whether my key is having the same ID which I have the ACC ID. Okay, this everything will be loop. Okay, I'll, I'll discuss that loop later. But right now, assume that right now what I'm checking is my key exist. Is my account key exist? If yes, then what I'll do is I'll go inside the loop. I'll just add whatever this account map is there. So first what I'll do, I'll get that key. If my key is there, I'll get the key. How do I get the key? using the get method. Using the get method, we will get the key. ACC dot name. 
assume that acc dot okay acc dot id get the account id i know the account id key might be having the values here might not be having the values so what i'll do is first i'll get the key of this particular one then add this new acc add this new acc that means add the new account in case if I do not have a key, in case if I do not have a key, what I'll do? I'll go to the else condition and then how do I add it? Account map. Right now we do not need a get because this account ID is my key does not exist. This key is does not exist. When it does not exist, if I do the get also, I'll not get anything. So get is a not right word here. Instead of get, what I'll do? Right now, I do not have a key that I'm looking for it. So what I'll do, I'll go for the put. Put, then I'll add acc.id. Then it, after uh, that... Should not be, does not contain, because you're looking if it is contains, am I right? Right now it is an empty. Mm -hmm. So you should, are we not... Uh, we should we should look at not contains am i right if not contains then add no huh? if it is not contains we have to put here see if it is okay. a contains it goes inside the, this condition okay if it does not contain then automatically it will come to the else condition okay basically if it is if it contains then you are just getting the id what hmm. are we doing adding then adding the existing like Okay, so I have the list of account on top. So we have a list of accounts here. Mm -hmm. Assume that we have a 14 records in the list. Now we'll come here. We'll come here. And I'm going to declare a one empty container. This is empty map, mm -hmm. which does not have anything. And let's say name is account map. Name of the empty container, empty map name is account name. Now what I'll do inside the account map, we have a two things. One is the key and another one is value. We always first check key. Based on the key, we'll try to identify whether I have a value or not. Now here, when we come, when we come here, we will check whether account map dot contains key. That means if my let's put another condition here. So inside this, I'll first check if my account map dot contains, that means is it already there? My account ID is already there. If it is already there, we'll assume that, we'll assume means system will assume that probably ID, if ID is there, that means value might be there inside the system, mm -hmm. right? So what will happen probably in my database We have a database here. In my database, key and value. Assume that here my, I have a 18 digit ID, let's say 00, 1, 2, 3, 4. And this has a value of account record. Let's say record 1. Okay. And I have another ID which is which is same as 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Assume that we will not be having a duplicate ID. We, we know that, but assume there is a duplicate key is there. 
So now there is another account which is pointing to the account record. Now key is here duplicated, right? First, anyway, first time when it does not have, it will not go to the if condition. It will not go to the if condition. So this is the if condition, this is the else condition. If condition means if yes, I have, it says that yes, I have a, this account ID already in my system. So when this has already in my system, why should I need to create a duplicate one? So what I'll do is, okay, get me the, get me that particular account ID. Get me the particular ID and then merge with the existing one. When I say merge, it says that add ACC. Uh, we cannot add two methods um, together, right, ma'am? Only one method we can use at a time, right? This is possible. Because what we are doing is in the map, we are in the map, two values are there. So first I need to check the key and then I need to verify the value. So for map, it is possible. Okay. So what I'll do, if it is already there, then... Okay, this is already there. So that means now I'm going to remove this. Now inside this one, two, three, four. Okay, I have a account record one, account record two. Now next thing, another one which is adding. That means they are adding the account record three. So one key has a three values here. If I if I come next time, is my account ID contains yes. Then add the one more here. Add the new one with the existing one, which is ACC record four. In case it does not have, this is an else condition. So in case it does not have, then what it will do? Well, it will directly go ahead and put the account ID. It will put the ACC ID. And then we will not be putting the value here. We will not be putting the value. We'll create an empty container inside this. Because in the database, key is in one container and this will be another container. So what I'll do is acc.id and then we will use new list of account. That means I'm going to say to the database, okay, create this ID, create a key, but Further, there are some more values are going to come for this ID. For now, just create an empty container there. Empty container along with the one record. Okay. Empty container along with the one record. That means we have to always initialize the new list. When we have a value as a list collection, and if the key does not exist in the database, then we have to use the put command, put first ID, then along with the ID, create a new container for the value. And inside the value, right now I have a one account. So keep it that account. In future, there are more accounts are going to come up and might add into the value for this particular ID. So this is ultimately does not contain an ID. It does not contain an ID, this one. So that's what we are doing here. So it does not contain ID. When it is does not contain, then it will come to the else condition. Then I'm going to put the account ID. Then we have to initialize new list of account. And then I'll say ACC. And right? this is what we do in the real time. And above this, we'll have a for loop. That for loop will be looping through the account. Clear any questions on this? OK. So first we will talk about the conditional statement, then we will come here, okay? 
otherwise it will be confused. So let's talk about the conditional statement. So I'll park this map of string comma list of account. Remind me after completing the conditional statement. Okay. Next, we will talk about the conditional statement. In our data types, we have a different type of types, right? Data type collection. What are the different things are there? Primitive data type, collection data type, uh, enumeration, mm -hmm. and S object. And what else? Apex language construct, right? What are the Apex language construct? Yeah, uh, data types, uh, variable, assignment statement, conditional statement, expressions, uh, queries, loops, locking statements, uh, DML. So, right. So, Apex language construct is we have data types that we have already discussed. And this Apex language construct also we discussed variable, expression, assignment, statement, assignment statement, conditional statement. What is the conditional statement means? If else. If else. And then we have a loops and we have a circle and saucer and then logging system, transactional controller, exceptional DML. These are there. Now we are done with the data types. Okay, except the enumeration. We enumeration we never use in the real time. And nowhere we see the enumeration. So variable. What is the variable? What is the variable here? Account. Account map. Account, ACC. So whatever we give the name for uh, the particular container that is called as a variable. And expression, expression is equal to A equal to five or A, if A equal to equal to Le or a less than 10 or greater than 10 expression. This is normal expressions. Assign Assignment statement is nothing but? Assigning a value. Yes, to the assigning a value to the variable. Assigning a value to the variable. So in this case, account ACC equal to, we are going to query this record, right? So we are assigning a particular record to the ACC. Right here, we are going to write a query. Or else, in a simple way, integer A equal to 5. Assigning a 5 to the variable A. Now, next, we will see conditional statement. Conditional statement means if-else conditions. If else condition. So, what is the conditional statements? Uh, either true or false. It, che it first checks for the condition. Uh, if if the if statement is true, then we, then it will go into that uh, uh, that part of execution. Or if it is if uh, if the if statement is false, then it goes to the else is part of execution. Yes. So conditional statement is nothing but statement that contains condition is called 
conditional statement. Right? So there are single condition will be there, multiple conditions might be there. So when it is a single condition, when it is a single condition, let's assume if we will write a expression inside the if, if the first condition is true, then we will go there. Otherwise we'll go to the else condition. This is a single condition. In case for the multiple conditions, if we have a multiple conditions, in case if we have a multiple conditions, first we will check the if condition. Now in case if this is not satisfied, it will go to another if condition, which is a else if. Another if condition, which is a else if. And if this is also not satisfied, then it will go to the another else if. In multi -condition, multiple condition, we can have as many as else if. And finally, when we feel that, okay, these two should be able to qualify in case if these three if conditions are not qualified, then it's simply, let's go with the else condition. Right? This is the multiple conditions. Now, if I have to write a simple one, let's go here. Now, integer rank, let's decide, uh, let's declare the integer rank. For example, if my rank equal to one, if my rank equal to one, then what we will do system dot i'm going to print the some text system dot debug let's say gold medal okay in case if it is not a rank one probably the rank two that means another else if condition else if rank equal to equal to equal to two Then what we will do? System dot debug. Let's give silver medal. Now we have a another rank that is a three. So let's add another rank. So which is the else if condition. Here three and let's say uh, bronze medal. And finally, if none of them, then go with the simple else condition, system.debug. Let's say there is no medal process. Okay. Now, if I try to execute this, what will happen? If I try to execute this, what will happen? We have not specified any value for the rank. Yes. So, we did not give the rank for this. Now, for example, if I give a three, so what is the value that I'll get it? Bronze medal. 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 Bronze. Bronze medal, right? So same thing, what we are doing in the here is, I'm going to check account map. But only the confusion is here, I have a only one variable, rank equal to three. So when we have a only one variable, it is easy to check whether rank equal to one or not equal to one or something, right? So this is the easy way. But right now, math has a pair. When the math has a pair, which is a key value pair. So when it is a key value pair and Salesforce suggests to do not use the key, uh, do not enter the duplicate values in the key. So key does not accept the duplicate. So that's the reason we are every time we are going to check what is my key. Like whatever the output of this ACC is there, if that is the key that exists in the system, exists in the map, then take that key. Take that key. And when I take the key, how I'll take it? Get account id so when i say get account id that means i'm going to get all the values of that particular id i'm going to get work, all it will it should not work am i right because if you're seeing map string and you're putting an id so 
I think it should be map ID to list account. Is that ID can be considered as a string also? Okay. Okay. Okay, better I'll give the exact output. So for loop, let's add the for loop here. My for loop is account. Uh, let's say AC. ACC, this is the ACC list. Okay, so I'm going to look through the ACC list. Now I'll put all the conditions inside this for loop. Perfect. So I have a ACC list and I'm looping through the each one of them and uh, ACC ID, I'm going to take it ACC. Okay. So let's go ahead and print the some debug here. System dot debug, which I'm going to get account list. So what I'll do ACC list. ACC list. So why you think it will not work? I thought because uh, uh, you know when we are passing and we are passing an ID, the but the basically the map is being initiated with an string. So that's why. Okay. So after the. After the for loop also, let's go ahead and print account map after. Now let's see. Okay. So let's go ahead and execute this. Let's see what will happen. Throughout the line, something is missing. What is missing? List of account. Error is missing. Execute. 24th line. List of account. Is there any other values are missing here? LIST. LIST, ma'am. Okay. Any other spelling mistakes or anywhere? No. Okay, let's go ahead and execute. So account list, right? Account map before is empty. Now after that, what we have the values? So account map after. We have a JSON string. JSON is implemented. This is a key. For this key, we have this value. And for inside this value, we have a ID comma, name comma, phone number comma, industry. Right? It is closing here. And we have a, another key which is uh, next key, but this key, we have an account, one account. Definitely ID is a, only one ID will be there for each one. So this is another one. Right, it's ending here, this one. And next we have a, another key. So there are 14 records are there, where the banking industry equal to banking. Account ID comma, name comma, phone number comma, industry. Let's take. So let's take only these values and it is going to end up. Okay, so after that, at the end, we'll have a curly braces. Right, 
so Swap this is I'm, how yeah sorry i'm still confused if you show the code um yeah okay i'm still confused between line 21 and 24. 21 and 24 okay basically get and put okay are we okay let me give here so when we say put okay i'm going to put the key and then i'm going to put the value is is this clear for the put yes yeah so when we use the put, when we use the put, put is when I do not have the key. There is a no key is there. There is no key here inside the database. Why when, I use put? Okay. When there is no key, I'll not be having the value also. So when okay. I do not have a key, that time we use the put. But in case I have a key already inside the database, there is a key already there inside the database. And for the same key, we have a new value. We have a new value for the same key. So when I have a new value for the same key, put does not work. If I go with the port, what will happen? It is going to, I have to use the key comma value I have to use. In that case, what will happen? Key is going to the duplicate because key is already there inside my database. Okay, I got right? it. I think so, it's very clear. Yeah, I got it now. Okay, so that's the reason okay. we use get here. Get the key first. First, get me this. When I say get me key, that means open the box of that particular key. Your voice is breaking. Get, uh, get the key. Just a second. Get the key. We have the value already existing, then it will create a duplicate. Values can be duplicates. That's what I'm explaining. Just a two minutes. So when I say get the key, so get the key in means open up the that particular key and show me what are the values are there. It doesn't matter what are the values are there in that box for that key. I have a new um, item which I wanted to, new item or new value, I wanted to place it in that particular box where I have a key. Okay, so in that case, it is possible that values can be duplicate. Yesterday, did you attend my class? Values can be duplicate, but key will not be a duplicate. So yesterday we were discussing about the fronts. Oh, I agree. I agree. What I was saying is, if we don't want the values also to be duplicate, you know, I mean, that will create a duplicate, what I'm saying. If Why it will create a duplicate? duplicate? Let's take a simple example, real time example. For each account, I wanted to get list of contact. For each account, I wanted to get a list of account. So, how this structure will be? I'll be having a one account and multiple contacts are connected to the single account. Right, contact one, and then contact two, and the contact three, contact four. And here I'll be having a only one ID, which is an account ID. Yep. Same thing, we have a opportunity, cases, leads are there. So in the scenarios, we need to have this, which is, this is nothing but my map of, I can take a string or I can take an ID, whichever is possible. Let's take a string, comma, list of contact. Now in this scenario, I need to verify, first time any weight will not be there in my database. So I'm going to put account, comma, contact, con one. But second time when I'm going to put the contact to, I need to verify whether account ID is already exist in the system. If I keep on doing the port of con1, con2, con3, uh, contact4, what will happen at the end of the day? You will see only the contact4. We will not see rest all because we are doing the put. When we do the put, 
So as soon as map it identifies there is a duplicate value, it will remove the previous one and it will just take the latest one. Yes. So that's the reason we have to use first get and then add get means nothing. There is not, no need to get uh, confused here. Get the account ID. That means I have a key for it. So I'm giving the key to you. Just go ahead and identify. Is there any box that contains this particular key? If you have it, open up the key. And I do not care what are the values are there inside it. I have a new value. So I wanted to put that new value into the container and close the key. So that's it here. Okay. So that's how the conditional statement and we for loop loop I'll go through the later for now we had a question so that's the reason I have uh, came up with this for loop. But are you clear in layman language um, if I have to tell in general we have a 10 contacts okay if you go to the account we have a three contacts each one I have to loop through the contact so that means first I need to go through this then go to this and then go to this. So where am I doing in the code? Am I doing in the code in the 17th line? In the 17th line, I'm going through the each one of them, okay? Once I go through each one of them, each one of them has some key which I'm going to take it as an account ID. I'm going to take it as a unique account ID because that is a unique ID. Unique in a sense for each account, how many contacts I need to, like I need to get all the contacts for the each account. So what is the key that I'm going to take it is account ID. So key is a account ID. Now, before I go on to anything, before putting the data into the map collection, first thing I'm going to check is this account already there in my database or not. If this account is already there in my database as a key, then just go ahead and you just go ahead and open up that key and just put this keys into these values into that container. So that's what we are doing here. There is no much difficulty here. Only the confusion is if you are talking about a put and get put, we use it when we do not have a key at all. There is no key for that. So in that case, we use the put get when we use it, get I have a key. And database is also having the same key. So when we are matching it, open up the box and add these values into the, that box and close it. So like this, you will see, this is the, what are the before equal to is there, you will see as a key and after equal to these are the values. Okay, so is conditional statement is clear? Yes. Then I'm going to just give you the uh, definition how to use the enumeration, but we never use this in the real time. That is for sure. So enum is, uh, what is the enumeration? We also call it as the enum in, in whoever uh, like, we, we studied this during the last year of the BTEC or some last year of the, your graduation. So enum is a abstract data type. Abstract data type that takes finite set of identifier. Finite set of identifiers and which is defined by the enum keyword and defined by the enum keyword enum keyword so enum required 
access modifier enum required access modifiers and supports only in the curly braces Now, in real time, if I have to explain in general term, enum is a container that holds any type of data. It holds, enum holds any type of data. So when I say any type of data means, let's say example of the code, Enum is always uses the access modifier. So my, I'm going to use the access modifier is public. Um, do we know, the, is everybody know about the access modifier? Because that is very important. Yes, ma'am. Public, private, protected. Yeah. So right now I'm going to take the public. So public and I'm going to use enum. Okay. And the variable name is my enum and here inside this i can declare x comma y comma uh, spring anything i can declare it in gen in primitive data type if i have to go with the integer then i have to go with the integer a equal to five right if it is a string then i have to take the data type as a string if it is a boolean then i have to take the boolean data type Right, but enum is, it doesn't matter. Data type, it doesn't matter. It holds any type of data. Any type of data. So I can directly declare X comma Y comma spring. In X, I can give anything. Um, it could be a string. It, that's the reason we do not have a declaration of data type here. So I can simply give the variable name x equal to 100. I can give y equal to true. I can give spring equal to some text I can give. So it doesn't matter for the enum. So this is how we declare for the enum. But uh, in real time, we do not use. I do not know the reason for this. Maybe it is because of confusion for the backend data for the apex. That's the reason we do not use it. But enum is nothing but it's an abstract data type which is uh, that takes the finite set of identifiers and defined by the enum keyword. And enum holds any type of data. It doesn't have a specific data type. Okay, so that is what enum. So let's move on to the interview questions. Did I give interview questions on the list and set? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so what is a map? How do we? declare map and what kind of data type does it hold? What is the difference between set, list, Map. What is, how do I get the size of map? how to retrieve the map values. How to retrieve 
we map keys. How to get the map along with key and values. How to add the key, how to add the new key and value inside the How to remove how to remove the specific key value. What are different methods we have? Size, dot, key, keys. Okay. Next assignment. Implement map to store. to store the country and prime minister. So which country, which prime minister? get the list of opportunity for single account. Get the implement a map That stores the account name, comma, list of account. Implement a map that stores the account ID from account. And which account we have to take? Account. Let's take a limit of 10 records, take only 10 records. Okay, so how it should be? ID comma count. You have to get the ID comma count. So first ID count is one, second ID count is two, the third ID count is three. Account dot name list of account is not possible right now because name can contain duplicate values. Name can contain duplicate value. Yes. So that is the trick here. So when we when you have a name duplicate value, use the get of name and you can add a multiple accounts. 
Good morning, ma'am. Is it the first session on maps? No, I think this is a second session. Okay. Uh, may I ask you a question? Yeah. I haven't seen the first video yet, but I've actually seen a text message on the group which talks about the various data types in the map, uh, like list, set, and set, set, yes. and all these. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first uh, data type would denote the key, and t keys are supposed to be unique, right? So how do we take list instead of set in the first place? Did you already discuss that, or are we supposed to approach that? Yeah, yesterday we have discussed set how the keys will be stored and how the values will be stored. So no, what am I saying is the keys are supposed to be set according to my understanding. Yes. As they are to be unique. So how do we take list in that place? We do not take the list. So that's what we have discussed. So we have a different type of map. I do not have that. so basically we have i already discussed this but i'll just give you the thing so map of different ways we have string comma string okay map of string comma integer integer comma string uh, integer comma integer so that is a primitive data type and then we have a let's assume that string comma list or i will say set set comma set in a sense set collection list okay map of set comma set map of list comma set map of list comma list okay these are the different combinations for the set and list okay i clearly mentioned yesterday's class which one should we use in the key because by default salesforce says that like if you are if you are getting the list like map of keys okay you take a map of keys when you take a map of keys, if you store into the list, it doesn't work because Salesforce itself is does not allow. When I say list of string, okay, let's say this is a list values and assume that I have a map collection. If I take map of keys, so what I'm doing it, I'm getting the keys, all the keys of map. So when I try to execute it, I would suggest you try to execute this, it will not work. It says that keys is a set and you are trying to store it into the list. So which does not match, which does not match. So I'm not going to save this. So simply we have to take a set here. So set comma list works, set comma set works, but wherever the key it has a list, it doesn't work. So yesterday I have given clearly the examples. Just go go through the yesterday's class if you still have okay. any questions. We will... You just brought it into the discussion only to clarify that list doesn't work there. Yes. Got you, ma'am. Thank you. So implement uh, a map. That stores. account id comma contact count these are the one so for these three you have to use the for loop okay and you have to use the conditional statement Conditional statement and for loop. Is every anybody has a question on the for loop? I'm going to cover tomorrow loops, but for now, any questions for for loop and conditional statement? If you are clear on this, then this is possible.
So what is that account ID and count of the second one, ma'am? Count is basically you have to get the account ID. So for example, we have a three account IDs here, right? So let's check. This is the account ID and count for the this is first time count, right? So it's say one and second time. That is an account count. So how many accounts that we are pulling with? So basically the output will be 10, right? Because we have limited to 10 only. So the count yes, should be 10. Yes, yes. You have to get all this up to the 10th one. That is the number of accounts. Just a count, it's not, it's not even number of count. We are just calculating one, two, three, four, five. As soon as I get the count, as soon as I get the account, just increase the count. That is just okay. straightforward. Okay. Any other questions? I know map is a tricky one. Uh, for loop, you mean for loop part in part in the coding level means okay. For loop, you want me to explain? Okay, so for loop is. Now there are couple, inside the for loop. If I have to divide the left side, whatever you call it, this left and right, right? This is the left and this is the right. Right? So right side, what variable you will give? The variable you give, the one which you are querying it. So for example, I'm querying the list of account. Okay. ACC equal to select id comma name from account limit 10 okay assume that limit 10 now right side whatever this is there what we give we give the this this one because the output of the query or the one which you wanted to look through the the one which you wanted to go through the each record, take that variable and put it here. Okay. And this variable indirectly connected to the which object? Indirectly connected to the which object? In this case, it is connected to the account. account. So copy this, go to the left at the account. Now this is perfect. Account is a standard object where the list of records are stored into the ACC. So what are the records are stored into the ACC? I wanted to go through each one by one. So now account equal to ACC. Now I have to give a one variable to this because when we go inside this, when we go inside this, how do I refer the variable? Like if I wanted to take account dot name, I wanted to check. Okay, I wanted to update account dot name equal to something, some scar ID or some value I wanted to update. So when I wanted to check the account name, I cannot take the object name here because that is just a standard object name. In case if it is a custom object, it will be like a patient underscore underscore C. And I cannot take patient underscore underscore C dot name. When I take this, what will, what system will think? We are creating the new record, but we are not doing the new record. We are looping through the existing record, right? We are looping through the existing record. So this does not work. Even I cannot take ACC dot. Even I cannot take ACC dot because ACC is right now a list. It is a list. List dot name does not work. So I have to give a name to this. I have to give it a name to this so that inside the for loop I can use a dot name. That means if you remember for i equal to integer i equal to 
zero, zero, and whatever it is, i plus plus i greater than 10, you will be having this, right? So here you are initializing it. In teacher i, you are initializing it. Same way we have to give a variable to the for loop. We have to give a variable to the for loop. So that what will happen when we go inside the for loop, each record name. Now I'm going to take an individual record dot name. So I'm not going through the collection of records here. So for each one, I'm going to refer it as the a dot name. So that means it will be first time it is first record dot name, second will be second record dot name. So like that, we will be keep on going to the each one till we receive 10. Okay. ACC is a list here. ACC means I, I have given a variable name. When I'm querying the list of account, I have given a name to it. It's like integer A equal to five. So A is the variable. So here ACC is the variable. Okay, fine. Okay, so let's move to the admin before I move on any questions. Oh, oh. So let's stop recording.